Mario enemies are very iconic for a reason. Each enemy has a clean, simple design, simple, understandable behavior, and are very well used in their respective levels and games. So today, I'm going to try to recreate some of these classic characters. I'll be using Game Maker Studio 2 to program it, and while I'll start with some placeholder art, it will eventually be replaced with art from the actual games. Then once I'm finished, I'll make a level featuring all of these enemies. So I'm recreating three enemies in this video. First the Koopa Troopa guy, and then the Boo, and finally Dry Bones, the objectively best character in Mario Party 8. So let's begin. So first of all, I'm starting off a basic platformer engine I made. It has moving, collision, and jumping, which is pretty much all I need for this. The very first enemy I'm going to tackle is the Koopa Troopa. These sprites are placeholder, I'll make them better at the end of the video. The Koopa will walk back and forth, kill me if it walks into me, and if I hit it on the head, it'll go into a shell which can be stepped on to make it bounce around. The very first thing I created for this enemy was a state machine. That is a data structure in code that allows the object to have multiple states, like an attack state or a move state. To create this state machine, I simply made a switch statement, which is pretty much a bunch of if statements, but it looks nicer. Also, I made a variable and named it very creatively. State. State numero uno is a patrol state in which the enemy walks back and forth similar to actual Koopas. After some messing around with the code, I came up with a pretty simple solution. I made a variable named distance walks that increased as the Koopa walks one direction. And after this reaches a set limit, the direction that the Koopa walks is flipped and the distance walked is reset. Next, I move on to making the collision with the player. First of all, I made the player die if it touches the Koopa. Then I added an if statement that checks if the player is above the Koopa with a point direction statement. And then I made the Koopa die if that happened, and this worked almost perfectly. So now I just had to make it go into a shell when stepped on, so I changed the collision event to make the player bounce up in the turtle chain state. For the bouncing, I just made the player activate jumping whenever it hit the top of the turtle. And for the turtle, I made the player send a message to the turtle telling it to shut up and change states. Or something like that. And then I made the turtle sprite change. Also, yeah, please remember these sprites are placeholder, it's not gonna look this bad by the time I'm done. Finally, I needed to make the moving shell state. First of all, I made it go in the opposite direction of the player, so it wouldn't just come and murder the player instantly. And then, after like an hour of bug fixing, I finally got the shell to work. Also, I set up a timer that starts whenever the shell just sits there. So that then whenever it ends, the shell goes back to the normal patrol state. And here's the finished Koopa enemy. Also, I redid the sprites of actual Mario 1 so it looks better and fixed some problems with physics and whatnot. Next, I'm doing the Boo. It will follow you whenever you don't look at it, but whenever you look at it, it'll freeze. So first of all, I made the Boo go towards you. Then I thought to myself, that doesn't look very good. So I added this float pattern thing in a similar way to how I made the Koopa patrol back and forth. Finally, I made a freeze by checking which direction the player was facing, like left or right, and then the boo's position relative to the player. The boo was much simpler to make, and here is some footage of the finished boo. The final enemy I will be making is the dry bones. They'll have the ability to fall apart, in which the head becomes a different object that interacts with physics and falls down, waits, and then comes back together and reforms the dry bones. So to start off, I'm starting with the Koopa Troopa, but I removed some things and changed the states to match the dry bone states. Then I made it fall apart and created the head object. So I attempted to make the head work with the physics engine and game maker, and at first it looked really cool. Only, then I realized that enabling physics messed up the collisions for pretty much every single other object. And while this effect was pretty cool, it was not worth rewriting all the code for collision. So I redid it and it looks a little bit stiff, but it still works. This enemy might have sounded like it was pretty simple, like even simpler than the Koopa Troopa, but the truth is I spent way too much time bug fixing and trying to make the physics work on the head. Here's the final dry bones in action. So lastly, I needed to make some final touches. I made all the enemies interact with each other. The Koopa shell can heal other turtles and break apart dry bones. And while I know this doesn't actually happen in the game, the turtle shell can also kill booze. Finally, I built a level in Game Maker that utilizes all the enemies shown and also has some added elements like spikes.
As you can see, my content is shifting yet again. But don't you fret, I'm not completely changing my content to these types of videos. In fact, I have a pretty big video about Game Freak coming soon, so to my three subscribers who actually watched this far into the video, you have that to look forward to, I guess. Uh, subscribe.